Black to play and win. Artyom Dobrots Mislov against Moritz Weishäutl. So black is going in this direction. Black to play and win. White's obviously going in this direction. So we're looking at it from black's perspective. This is a little trickier than it looks at first glance. If you want to solve the position interactively, then do check out the link to chesspuzzle.net and you can see the full game there as well. But try to solve it just from the board using imagination and visualization and calculation. So how does black win this one? First move is, I think, quite obvious. Pawn to b2. So the pawn is just one step from queening. Now in the game white played rook g3, I'll look at that in a second, but rook b7, just going behind the pawn, looks like the most normal move. And here is where it's possible to mess up. So an obvious move here is to play rook h1. This is the, the typical tactical trick. You want to make a queen, and if rook takes pawn, then you win the rook. Thank you very much. But there is a problem with rook h1, namely h7. Good move. So the king can't stop the pawn. So what about rook takes? Well, first of all, you don't take this because again, there's that skewer. But you give a check first and then you take the pawn on f3. The rook is behind the pawn and that's just a draw. Black can protect it, but the king just steps over and rook takes pawn, draw. So after b2, rook b7, black has to find a better move. In fact, there's no rush. King g8 is the move, just making sure that that rook's pawn is going nowhere. So you can give a check, but the king goes in the corner. And this is a, a well-known theoretical position. White is completely lost. So, for example, if king takes pawn, then you give a check and make a queen. Or if, well, if, if white waits with the rook, then you use that trick that we looked at a moment ago. This time it's successful. So black threatens to make a queen with this. And after rook takes pawn, rook h2 check, skewers, and that's the end of the game. In the game, white actually played rook g3, but rook h1 was very simple. Just go behind that pawn, and the game finished h7, queen, check, like this, takes. And a nice double attack to finish. Check. And queen takes rook. So there we go. The trick in this position is b2. And hopefully you spotted this move, king g8, before you go with the rook to h1.